Brian Bearfield. David, can you just talk about how it was playing that first game with uh, Victor Oladipo? Uh, I mean, it was easy. Um, he's, he's a good player, uh, makes the right reads, makes the right plays, and um, I thought it was I thought it was good for his first game. Do we have any other questions? Mark Berman? David, along those lines, how has it been working with all the new pieces as you try to kind of get everything together on the fly? Yeah, um, that type of stuff takes time. Um, takes time to build chemistry. But um, every game it just seems to be getting a little bit easier, uh, just knowing each other's tendencies. And uh, it just takes time. Um, we'll be able to get it, get it all together soon. Dwayne Rankin. Yeah, when you, when you say get it all together soon, you're still obviously working in new players. So do you have like an idea of say, oh, hopefully by next week we'll be, we'll be there? I mean, do you get a sense of a timetable on this or is it just a matter of just play the games and see what happens? Uh, I mean, once the wins start adding up, it seems like we must be doing something right. So until then, uh, it just seems like we, we just got stuff to work on. And, um, you, you know, it just takes time to build chemistry. Uh, with just new guys and uh, new pieces. Kaylee Griffin. Hey, David. Uh, you're coming up against the Suns team who just played the Grizzlies, but they were on pause for a little bit due to, to COVID protocols. What are the biggest challenges uh, this season in particular about facing opponents like this who have been kind of off for a while and, and now you're getting your first look at them back after they've had some time uh, away from the game as well? Yeah, I mean, they're a good team. Uh, they got great pieces, uh, great players over there. Uh, you can't take any team lightly um, in this league, whether they have time off or, uh, you know, back-to-back -back games. Uh, every every game is tough. So it's important that we just come out, just stick with the game plan and just uh, play our game. Jonathan Fagan. David, I realize this is about a week old, but uh, you've been part of both teams. What was your reaction uh, when James was traded to Brooklyn about what they can be and obviously what you guys can be? Uh, I mean, he he wanted to leave. So, I mean, uh, happy for him that he's found a team that he's, you know, happy happy playing with. Uh, as for us, uh, just uh, new pieces uh, coming in. And it's important that we, uh, you know, just build chemistry, chemistry amongst the guys that are here. So, uh, I feel like we uh, we can do that, and I feel like we'll, we'll be a really good team. Now, I realize you didn't play with KD last year, but you do know that team pretty well. Uh, what can they be? I mean, I have no idea. It seems like they got a lot of offensive pieces, and uh, who knows? All right, thank you. Yeah. Brian Bearfield. David, you all have started off um, slow in the first quarters, but then as the game goes on, you tend to, you know, pick it up a little bit better. Is that due to the continuity of new players coming in, having players, uh, not having players? Is it just a lack of continuity between you all? Uh, say the first part again. I was saying that you all have started off really slow in the first quarters, but, you know, quarters two through four, you have all picked it up and started to play better. Is that for lack of continuity because of all the interchangeable pieces? Uh, I mean, I have no idea. Uh, just we just need to come out just more aggressive. Uh, and I, I think we'll do a better job of that tonight. And, you know, we'll see. Jonathan Fagan. Um. Coach Salas has referred to you guys as a work in progress quite a few times. Once that is complete, uh, do you have a feel for the identity, of what this team's identity will be? Uh, I mean, we got a lot of good pieces over here, a lot of great players, uh, a lot of winners. So um, I feel like we'll be a really good team. And once we lock in, um, just pick it up defensively, um, just play together, make the right reads, um, extra passes. And I feel like we can be a really good team. So. It's only a matter of time. You've got a lot of guys who, for one reason or another, were doubted somewhere along their careers. Well, seven guys, I think it is, who were undrafted. Uh, a handful of guys such as yourself who have missed time with an injury, a significant injury. Does this team have something to prove because of all of that? I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, 
it's, it's always room for improvement and um, uh, showing teams what we're capable of doing, uh, you know, somewhat an underdog. So uh, I, th I think we could be a good team and just actually not even worry about the outside noise and just um, just stick to, with the game plan and just go out there and compete. Uh, that's the biggest thing. we got a lot of co um, competitors on this team and that just want to win. So uh, I feel like we can do that. Thank you. Thank you, David. We appreciate your time. Thank you.